Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the MagMod MagSphere Take Two. This is behind the scenes video of some of the settings that I use that really help me focus on getting the shot and not so much focusing on the camera. It's meant to make my life easier. Now, if you watched my previous video about the MagMod MagSphere, you've probably already heard me talking about how this thing is a game changer out in the field. But really what I wanted to dive into a little bit today is showing off the settings that I have in a way that allows you to capture ambient light in the room without getting things too dark or too overexposed. This is more of like a run and gun type of scenario. You plug some settings into the camera and you're off to the races. Now I have a little bit of an unfair situation. As you can see, I have white walls, white ceilings, but we're gonna use this room as a scenario anyway because some of the settings, it really doesn't matter because you're looking for ambient light. So you wanna make sure you're bringing up your ISO. So today we're gonna to be talking about a little bit of those settings as we talk about the MagMod MagSphere. So here we go. Thankfully, I have my wife here. She's gonna be my model today. So when I was talking about you wanna raise your ISO up and make sure that you're getting the ambient light, I have this light back here, for example, and I'm gonna keep that in the background, get some blur back there. The idea is to make sure that the room is not so dark to make it look more natural with the light on and more appealing to the eye. So the settings that I typically go with in like a dance floor or a chapel, like in the middle of a crowd, but basically it's, 1250 on ISO. I'm, at, I'm shooting at a 2.8. This is my Sigma Art uh, 24 to 70. And then my shutter is one over 160. So those are my settings on the camera itself. Now on the flash, I always shoot in manual because sometimes I need to adjust it with more power, but primarily most of the time I'm shooting in one 128. So we're gonna do that today. We're... <laughs> Siri just came on, that was weird. I don't want no business Siri. So let's see how these turn out. So the important thing to keep in mind when you're shooting with the MagMod MagSphere is to keep your light pointed straight up. As you can see, my light was kind of turning, turning and shifting every time I adjusted the camera. The light dome was straight up and down. If you have it pointed out, you're gonna get super harsh light. So what you're trying to do is make sure that this bounces and fills the room. So as I'd mentioned before, it's a little unfair because I have a little bit of a white ceiling here, but if you're in a dark, large room, like a dance floor, I'm gonna show some pictures here, you can still keep this up and it's going to highlight everybody in that crowd so that you can get this even light across the subjects that you're focused on. All right, so for another comparison here, as you can see, Again, the walls are white. This one's actually pretty dark, and for the sake of this video, I'm not really gonna light it up so that you can kind of get the overall effect. So I'm gonna show some befores uh, and afters. I'm gonna go, you know, with no off-camera flash, keeping at my general settings, uh, which are at 1250 still, 2.8, and one over 60 on the shutter, and then I'm still at 128 on the flash itself. Um, but first, I'm gonna start off with some natural. So I'm gonna turn the flash off and my camera is now here. All right, as you can see, those ones are pretty dark. Remember, I'm trying to keep my camera settings the same so I can continue to move throughout like dance floors, receptions or something and just make life so much easier when you're using the magma. So now I'm gonna turn it on. All right, we got the glory sound. She's being so patient with me. I can't believe she's letting me do this, but here we go. Now I'm gonna move my tripod so that we can get back into this light over here and we can talk about how these photos actually turn out. All right, so the idea of the MagMod MagSphere is to make life easier, like I had mentioned before, and you're allowing the light to project all throughout this bulb and then all over the ceiling are the walls. You can still make it evenly distribute the light and be very flattering on your subject. But the idea is for you to really be able to use the light off of multiple different areas. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing different examples here so that you can see what it looks like. 
but it allows you to spread that light, capture the shot, capture your subjects, and keep it uh, simple. So the great thing about shooting with this is you can add all of your presets, your own artistic style. It's very easy, and then you can just make minimal adjustments. So I'm gonna be adding some before and after photos right here so that you can see what it's like straight out of camera and also what it's like with my little edit here. So what'd you think? Seemed pretty easy enough? I think so. And as you get used to the mag mod mag sphere and you're, you know, adjusting your camera and you're making the correct shoot and you're firing this thing off, you're gonna find it becomes easier and easier to use. And you're just gonna overall have a way better time when you're doing flash photography and wedding event settings, whatever it may be. So like the last video, I do highly recommend getting the Magmod Magsphere, but this is a little BTS for you so that you can see how I use it and uh, hopefully it was easy for you. If you have any questions or you want something answered or maybe I didn't dive into it or you just wanna throw something out there, just leave a comment in the section below and we'll see you in the next video.